Let's talk about hybrid events. Have you noticed that events people are really hesitating to use that term at the moment? It seems it's acquired a, a somewhat daunting reputation in our clients' minds. But here's the thing. I believe the hesitation stems from misconceptions and it's time to set the record straight. Instead of solely focusing on the idea of hybrid events, we should really be discussing how to implement a hybrid strategy for events. Marketing teams are really embracing this approach in some companies, employing mixed formats like in-person, virtual, or combination of the two to really create engaging experiences for their businesses. And every event in this would have a specific objective, whether it's building a community, providing training, disseminating content, um, driving sales, and the chosen format should align with the client's desired relationship with the customers or audience and meeting them where they are. Now, it's really important to select the format based on the specific objective and target audience, rather than just, I don't know, opting for virtual simply because it's more cost effective. Now, as a business event MC, I have witnessed this firsthand. Over the past year, 18 months, I've hosted virtual and in-person events, and I actually even had the pleasure of hosting an extended reality stage for a digital multi-hub event. And the immersive experience that that provided for all the attendees was truly remarkable. It really bridged that physical and virtual realm. And I'm actually really thrilled when I see clients embracing a mixed format event strategy because it's not only more profitable for them as it means that they reach a broader audience, but it's also much more beneficial for the environment and it really promotes inclusivity because there is no barrier to attendance. Now, the investment in event materials from outstanding in-person events, you can use that, repurpose it and monetize it in other events and the opportunities for data gathering and using the data are much more extensive from this kind of strategy. I personally, obviously, I love the environment, the variety as different event formats allow me to showcase all my hosting skills and, you know, just give me more variety in my job. However, I know we can't avoid the cost and the added complexity that comes with hybrid events. Um, and now while I believe that adding a digital element to all live events is eventually going to become the norm, I know it's going to be a gradual process for many organisations. Now, some of my clients have returned to in-person only events and it is interesting to hear their perspectives. I'd actually love to know how, how you guys are finding it at your organisation too. So the availability of mixed formats, it presents event marketers with this really unique opportunity to strategically build their event portfolios and create tailored experiences for all their different audiences. And it requires, you know, yeah, a deep understanding of your audience. You've got to create really detailed profiles and then really craft the experience that will resonate with them. And if you align these experiences with the event crucial goals, you know, it's crucial that you do that. But that means if the objectives revolve around training and content consumption or expanding reach, whatever it is, a digital first approach is a really great starting point. But on the other hand, if the goals focus on building relationships and fostering community, then you need that blended approach. You need the intimacy, the in-person experiences, and then you have these sort of thoughtful digital touches to keep everything alive. So let's do that. Let's redefine the perception of hybrid and embrace the power of a hybrid strategy for events.